In this example, we're going to be drawing the Lewis structures of three elements. Now, to draw an element's Lewis structure, we have to find that element on the periodic chart. And that's why the periodic chart is here in the example. So let's start with sodium. There's sodium on the periodic chart. It's in group 1A. All right, that's what's important when it comes to Lewis structures, because the group tells you how many valence electrons the atom has. And that's what's important here. So we draw the symbol, Na, and then we put a dot next to Na for every valence electron. Well, since it's in group 1A, it has only one valence electron, so we draw one dot, and then we're done. Well, that wasn't so bad, was it? Let's move on to the next element. The next element is Ga. There it is on the chart. It's in group 3A. So that means it has three valence electrons. So we draw the symbol Ga, and then we put three dots around it. But we put those dots in a particular order. We start on the right-hand side of the symbol and put one dot. Then we move to the bottom of the symbol and put the next dot. And then we move to the left and put the third dot. That's the Lewis structure for Ga. All right, the final Lewis structure we want to consider is Te. There it is in the periodic chart. It's in group 6A. That means it has six valence electrons. So we draw the symbol Te, and then we draw six dots around it. We put one on the right, one at the bottom, one on the left, one at the top. Now we're out of room, so we have to start doubling electrons up. We put a second one on the right and a second one on the bottom. That gives me six dots, and that's the Lewis structure for Te.